Hey, um, what's happening? I survived. Hang on, I gotta turn. I survived the snow apocalypse. The massive zero inches of snow that we got. The weatherman predicted that the world was going to end and true to form everybody bought all the bread and milk it occurred to me during the snow apocalypse that the only thing more cliche than buying all the bread and milk is talking on Facebook about buying the bread and milk anyway this is what I got on my mind today as to the title of this video make sure if you if you make an offer on a property make sure you understand the terms because your realtor may not. I've got a transaction going right now where I represent the seller as I always do and uh, the buyer submitted an offer on a property. We've been under contract since last year. Holy crap, I about ran into somebody. I need this thing up higher so I can watch the road. Um, so we've been under contract since last year. In their initial offer, they had put up a deposit. And that deposit, it's called earnest money in this contract. In most contracts, it's called earnest money. That deposit was refundable for a period of time. Fast forward to this month, and the buyer is asking for some things that the seller is not going to agree to and because the buyer had their agent attach a particular addendum to the contract regarding their financing they're of the opinion that their money is refundable and that they're gonna get their money back in this case we're talking about several thousand dollars that the buyer put up as a deposit their broker their agent set the expectation that that money was refundable when in fact it was not under the terms of the contract that we all agreed to. And so they are contemplating not closing on the purchase, not selling the property, in which case contractually the seller that I represent gets their several thousand dollars. It is forfeited to them as damages. So the point is and why I titled this video the way I did, make sure you understand the terms because your realtor may not, is in, in talking this through with the other broker, it became very apparent that she really and truly did not understand that she had not drafted the contract such that the money was refundable essentially forever. And I want to be clear, I am not picking on that broker. Lord knows I have made lots of mistakes in the last 10 or 11 years of, of selling houses. Thankfully, for the most part, I've been able to get them straightened out. So I'm not, I'm not picking on her by any means, but this is something that actually happens more often than you would think where we get into a dispute and I find myself talking with another broker who does not fully understand the terms of the contract. And I, at the risk of this getting longer than I anticipated it being, I think that's is for two reasons. One, as I've talked about a lot, there are very low barriers to entry in this business. I think it's 76 hours of class now you have to take to get your real estate license. And two, we use the same forms day in and day out. It's all basically the same contract until you start attaching various addenda to it. And there's where some of the confusion can come in. So there's an unsolicited real estate advice for you today. If you are buying a house if you are putting in an offer even if you've got a really really good broker even if it's one of our agents make sure that you fully understand the terms of the offer that you're making because that can prevent a surprise uh, like these folks that I'm talking about who represented by another broker did not understand the terms of their offer and are now facing losing their deposit which was several thousand dollars so there you go hope you guys survived the snow apocalypse too i hope we actually get a snow apocalypse this year my yankee friends yes i do have some yankee friends are all laughing at us 
So maybe we'll get a little snow later in the year. Y'all have a good day.